since the electricity has gone out, I didn't know there was load shedding on the stream. So we're all in the mood for coffee since we haven't had coffee yet. I decided let me create a fire quickly on that makeshift fry and boil some water. So this is a question for you, Jared. You say water boils at different temperatures depending on the um, container even. So I'm, I've got a pot here. I've got this pot here on the fire. You can see I've got a little fire going, getting nice and hot. Obviously it's not boiling yet. The question I got for you is, when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, it's going to boil, correct? Would it have been the pot that caused it to um, boil at 100 degrees Celsius, or would it have been the heat from the flames? That's my question to you, Jaron. So yeah, let's point this out. Cause of water boiling? the pot or that hot stuff there heating it up let me know what you think because i don't really think the pot has anything to do with the water boiling very very simple stuff oh. because if you know thermodynamics it's simply just entropy that that is creating heat it's creating energy work into the system which creates it to boil and yeah since the water is going to go through a phase change hence steam which would be 100 degrees celsius at sea level so jaron what does science show us with this hypothesis if i place pots with water on fire water will boil at 100 degrees hmm what happens testing it i put pot of water on fire measure at 100 degrees it boils i proved my hypothesis i validated my hypothesis no matter what i do in future that hypothesis is always valid i can create another hypothesis with the same effect observed but it doesn't invalidate that hypothesis it was validated it was proven that's flat soil signing out god bless